Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the breeding program in general today. What our breeders do is to concentrate on uh, using the most diverse germplasm to move the best agronomic traits into our inbreds, which are then combined to make our hybrids. So our breeders concentrate on things like yield, shattering resistance, disease resistance, oil and oil quality, uh, lodging resistance, things like that. Our breeding and testing efforts are located in the very heart of the North American canola breeding uh, area. Uh, in North Dakota, we have six locations across the state in that prime growing area of North Dakota. The canola breeding program in Invigor is really uh, an, uh, the, the innovation leader. Our proprietary pod shattering system, that is a, uh, a non-GMO gene that was developed by the breeding team that uh, allows you to cut the canola standing so that you don't have to, you don't have to swath it. Uh, it it uh, retains its, uh, its seed and, uh, and resists shattering. Uh, another innovation that we have is our seed link hybridization system. Uh, that is different from most of what the rest of the industry is using. Most of the rest of the industry uses a, a CMS, a cytoplasmic male sterility system called the Ogura system. Uh, that system works, but our seed link system uses a combination of cytoplasmic um, sterility as well as nuclear genes in, in, the, uh, in the plant and that results in a, uh, in a little bit higher yield. Also using the cutting edge genetics and our predictive statistical models, uh, along with wide area testing, testing uh, thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of hybrids over this large geographic area in, in the growing region, uh, allows us to use, to look at combinations of our best inbreds to make our best hybrids. So uh, another uh, project that we're working on, a special project, we are hosting a, uh, an intern from our entomology and plant pathology group in North Carolina. Uh, what we're working on is Lepidopteran uh, insect resistance. So Bertha armyworm is one of the pest problems uh, that, can, that can, you can encounter in North Dakota and particularly in the Canadian region. Um, our intern is here monitoring and collecting those insects to send back to our uh, entomology plant pathology group in North Carolina to, so that they can, they can uh, maintain a population to work on, these, uh, on this resistance to the Bertha armyworm. One of the other innovations that we're working with, uh, it's a expansion of a program that we've had here over the last uh, couple of years at the Minot Research Station is our work with Brassica juncea. Uh, most everybody's familiar with Brassica napus, that is the, the black-seeded canola. Brassica juncea is more in the mustard family. It has a yellow seed coat and will be marketed as yellow canola. Uh, some advantages to juncea is it, it has more uh, heat and drought tolerant than, uh, than traditional canola. Uh, it also has that, that yellow seed coat, so it doesn't have the chlorophyll content that has to be removed by processors. So there's, there's some advantages there. But the big advantage is the heat and drought tolerance. It will have the, the, uh, the same oil quality and content as, as regular canola. Uh, m many of the same agronomic uh, characteristics, uh, lodging resistance. Brassica juncea also uh, has a natural resistance to pod shattering. Alongside with, with putting the, our proprietary pod shattering gene into, that, into the background of that crop will make it even more shattering resistance. Uh, it will have uh, Liberty Link technology when it comes out. We're probably about four to five years from commercialization on that. Uh, so it's, it, it's, a, it's an exciting uh, crop. It looks like the, the yield is good. The breeders are continuing to work towards uh, high yielding commercial varieties. Starting out with hundreds of thousands of, of hybrids and every year 
making most of those, you say like 90% of those, we'll look at them, we'll determine that they, they really don't, they, they really aren't better than our competitors and they aren't better than what we already have and we discard those. And we, we funnel those down until we get the very best that's gonna perform well in, on your farm and on your neighbor's farms. And that's how we get from the experimentals that I work with mostly to the released variety.